right now that my audio is getting picked up by my mic here not my mic on my camera but this is my first time doing this okay so bear with me it might not be perfect well it's just not going to be perfect i'm not gonna lie anyway the reason why i wanted to do this today if you can't tell by the little intro was to introduce the two new members of my family so you've seen a clip of Rosie and Lily and I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about them and why I ended up getting them so the kids have been asking me for a pet and I'm quite big on letting your kids have pets to an extent okay before anyone bashes me there, there is logic behind my thinking I like the idea of my kids being responsible for something however I do understand that whatever we take on is primarily going to be my responsibility and along with any vet spills you're gonna really drink now okay along with any vet bills or anything that comes with that pet is going to be down to me to pay so really really aware of that when they were asking for a pet yet i wanted something that they could get involved with but i also wanted something that i felt like i could take care of because there were certain things that i was not willing to take on and um that would be like another dog i already have two and i feel like three would have been pushing it so i didn't feel like that was an appropriate pet so i started looking around at a lot of different animals um you name it, I probably looked at it. A lot of smaller animals like chinchillas, rabbits, guinea pigs, rats, mice, hamsters, gerbils. I pretty much looked at any kind of small pet that I could think of that was small and fluffy because they wanted something fluffy. So in the end, the I went with the rats and there was a couple of reasons that I decided to go for rats. Was One, when I was reading just about the general personalities, and then they can be quite loving and affectionate. And I thought that would be nice for them and for me. You said if I'm going to be taking care of them, I want something that's going to like like me, you know. <laughs> so that was that. I also thought um, a pet like that would be good because they could help with doing their food and water and help with the general cleaning out the cage. And as I've started this, the dogs have decided they're going to play. There they go. In the background. Okay, you guys just, just don't worry about me. Just carry on. Where they've been on their own all day, they have not. So, anyway, after doing a lot of research, trying to pick out what I thought was going to be appropriate for them, it was rats that came across because of their personality, but also because of the type of cage they want. And this was kind of what swayed my decision was I wanted some an animal that was sociable. So it, I didn't want hamsters or a male mouse because you can't house them together, and I wanted to have at least two. Um, I wanted something that we could add to over time, like um, with rats you tend to have like a rolling group, so I wanted something that we could have a rolling group of rats, and I wanted something that came in pairs so they could pick and name their first two. Um, but the big thing for me was the cage, which rats need a big cage, okay, they do need a big cage, but rather than needing floor space, well, they do need floor space, obviously, but they also need height. Height is important with them because they, they're really good climbers. They like to climb and you have to put fall breakers and things like that in. And for my house, because my house is small, that suited me better to have a cage rather than a long cage, but a high cage. It fit a lot better with what I wanted. So that was one of the decisions that helped sway. So anyway, um, we picked... Lily and Rosie and despite doing a lot of research because I haven't had small pets for god about 18 years um I haven't had a caged animal for about that long that I really really needed to update my research a lot of what I knew was so outdated <laughs> so it was really learning from scratch and unfortunately I did miss a few things and that's what I wanted to talk about as well because if anyone is thinking again that for themselves or them kids then hopefully you will miss these things that I did so the first thing that I missed was actually where to get them from and this sounds like such a stupid thing not to think about but when I was younger and um, pets at home was like thanks trigger thanks pets at home was relatively new and it was um one of the better pet shops just to be honest it was noticed that it was like a very ethical pet shop that um they really cared about the animals that's very much how it was portrayed 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 i can't say words this happens to me a lot when i when i game as well yeah so yeah that's how they would set themselves up to, to you know and in fairness at the time they were better than going to like a local pet shop they were more ethical and they were generally better 
He's just going to bark by the window. We'll just give him a moment. Are you finished, Trigger? Are you done? Yes, you're very brave. So, yeah, it was one of the um, things that, yeah. So, that was one of the things that I had always known. And any time that we were to get pets, uh, once we pets at home opened we stopped going to our local pet shop and we started going to pets at home i say pets at home opened like a local pet at home you know there probably was pets at home before then but there was just none in our area so after believe after i don't know why i just assumed this hasn't changed i still assumed that pets at home was a really really good place to uh buy your animals i didn't think anything of it and when we decided we want to wanted rats um, I went in, I spoke to the ladies, they were all, they were actually really good, they were really helpful, the staff, they were brilliant, and I think they do care about the animals, I think the members of the staff that I spoke to anyway did care about the animals over there. So, when I picked them up, um, I picked up a few things online prior to getting them, and um, I also picked up a few things in store. So the cage that I wanted that I got in store, there was a particular reason that I got this cage, you'll probably see like a photo of it doing this vlog. Um, the reason being was because I wanted to add more to the group eventually. This is, if you get another one of these cages, they kind of slip together really, really easily. And that was something that I was sort of like, yeah, I want that. I want something that's going to fit together really, really easy that I can build on when I add the extra two. But for a while, when I add the extra two, you know, if I get another two, which I will eventually, I'll get on to that in a minute that um the cage could be separate as well so you could have the two while they're in quarantine um and while you're doing the introductions they've got their own space and once they're all introduced you can stack the two cages on top of each other and to me that just made sense so it's not an amazing cage but it is big enough for the two that i've got especially for the age that they are um so yeah i got them and i got the rats from there and like I said, the women were really good. Um, they were four girls there when we went to choose, and it was girls that we were looking for. Um, the reason that, again, we went with girls was because of the scent marking, and girls just do it a little bit less, and so I thought it would be a little bit easier. I know, as well, they can be like more playful and more boisterous, and I think... Oh, the dog, he's playing. He just can't help it. He just loves to play. And I think... Hi, Trey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I think, yeah, because of the kids and things like that, that I thought playful rather than that it would suit their personalities a bit better. Obviously, I know it's not guaranteed. I think when you buy any pet, you're not guaranteed the personality, but that was just the general consensus of reading about the different ones online. No, you're not going out there. No. Don't be silly. No. So, yeah. That was the... The general idea was to get two females so when we went in there were four females there now because of lockdown and covid we didn't actually get to see all four um what she they do is they sort of bring them out in a bucket it, it was quite strange from what i was used to and what i've done in the past but obviously these are lockdown regulations so they introduced two of them which is the two that we've got which is lily and rosie there were two other ones in there who the woman had warned me beforehand were really skittish she said because they were albino and their eyesight wasn't as good which is true that albino's eyesight wasn't as good i just don't think that was the particular reason that that one was more skittish but because i had the kids with me i think she was like trying to bring out the two that she assumed was more confident so i bought these i bought lily and rosie we named them we bought them home um i bought them up i bought them on the 23rd of february and they were nine weeks old then so the date of birth is roughly the 22nd of december i don't know the exact date but roughly that was that so we left them for about 24 hours to settle in before we attempted to like see them or socialize with them or interact with them at any point um i'm gonna need to pause this because i think my dog needs to go out so I've just opened the door for the dogs so they can go back and forth now because they clearly wanted to go out. I don't think they need to go out. I think they just wanted to go out because Trixie in particular are very outdoor type dogs. But I will get into them probably on a different vlog. I'll introduce them. Um, now they're going to play. See, you just can't get anywhere quiet in my house. The only place that's quiet in my house is my bedroom. And then I always feel really bad because the dogs are downstairs on their own. And dogs like people. They need to have people around them. So it's tough really. They're just 
here to enjoy the video. <laughs> so, anyway, um, as I was saying, so yeah, I bought bought the wraps. I think genuinely what they were saying was decent advice with the fact that two are more skittish. Even though I don't really think that's the reason they were more skittish, it's more because they hadn't been handled. We left ours twenty four hours to try and um let them climatize to the new area. Now we've had them for about a month now, and they're just starting to move uh, to us, to me and the kids, which is not bad for pet shop but rats. From what I've seen, it, it isn't a bad time scale for the rats to start coming on you and obviously to start noticing you. what's going on with my hair on the one side. Like what's that all about? But yeah, so. They've started warming up to us now, which is great. But if I'd have got them from a reptile breeder, then um, I may not have had that issue. They may have come a lot more confident. Obviously, again, there's still no guarantees, but they tend to be really well handled. And the people who do breed them tend to put a, at least a good breeder, puts a lot, a lot of work into them before they come to you. And I think the assumption that I made that was very, very wrong was you don't get breeders for small animals. That's like a dog and cat thing, which, like I said, it's, it's wrong. That's not right. That's not right. And it's really stupid when I think about it and when I say it out loud that I made that assumption, but I did. So, you know, here we are with two pet shop bought rats. Um, the other issue that I found out really early on was a few days after having them, I noticed they were both sneezing quite a lot. And when I looked this up, they were saying about new home sneezes, that it was quite common that um rats go into a new environment and they sneeze so again i didn't think much of it until rosie stopped and lily kept sneezing and the sneezing got worse to the point that she looked like she was gasping for air and when she first did it i i work from home so i was upstairs with them when this was happening she looked like she was gasping with her ears. She looked like she was choking. It was all very, very scary. So I ended up leaving work, which, by the way, I don't get paid for, and taking her to the vets. So when we got to the vets, now the vet was really good. It told me she had a respiratory infection, which I knew was very common with rats, and it was a very common health problem that they have. Again, I'd found that out during my research. I just wasn't expecting to have to deal with it a week into having them. I thought this was something that would come potentially when they got older. Um, I was prepared to pay the vet's bills. That wasn't a huge issue for me at the time. Um, because again, getting these rats, I knew that anything, any animal, you're going to have to pay vet's bills at some point. So I knew, I knew that was going to happen. I'm just disappointed that it happened that early on and as well trying to give antibiotics to a rat that doesn't trust you was really really difficult so it took a while to get the antibiotics down there to find something that I could mix it with that she'd take it because at the time she wouldn't take food off me so it ended up being uh, I eventually got her to do it with malt paste on a spoon and <laughs> that's how I had to do it I do think it helps strengthen my bond with it, um, which is nice, but again, not something that I wanted to deal with that early on. Um, I get not, it's not even the cost of the vet's bills, it was just more for the fact that she didn't trust me. And I think then trying to, like I said, get an, a rat to take something when they don't trust you to try and get them to take any kind of medication is difficult. And that's definitely something that I found really hard and it was another thing that I was really worried we were going to lose her at one point it was quite scary and I was thinking about Rosie who was going to be left on her own if this happened because I said I'd always planned to have a rolling group but I hadn't planned to have to go out and like get new rats that early on I never thought that was going to be something that I would have to deal with and luckily she has pulled through and she's a lot better than she was and um, she because of this I think she's smaller than her sister and I just think during those first few weeks she wasn't eating as much um, she was still eating, but not nearly as much, and she is still smaller. I think she's catching up a bit now, but that was definitely an issue. And again, with pet shop rats, uh, respiratory infections are really, really common. You're more likely to get it with pet shop rats. That's not saying that you definitely will, or that if you get a rat from a breeder that you're not going to have any health problems, because that's not the fact. It's just more likely to happen if you've got a pet shop bought rat. So that was something that I learned, and... Um, Obviously, like I said, it impacted me financially and emotionally and it was a really stressful time. So it was something that I definitely wanted to share. Again, if you're thinking about getting rats, just to think about really where you're getting them from. Um, the last thing that I learned from having them was I read a lot about their diet, um, about what kind of food they needed, especially in online with, with treats and stuff like that. What was a good source for protein for younger rats and things. So when I went to the pet shop, obviously they advised their own brand of food. 
and at first I didn't think anything of it I thought well it makes sense like one is their own brand so they're gonna push it but also the way they sold it to me was to do with um, selective feeding and they're yeah, right you know they can selective feed they can pick bits out so they don't recommend like a mix the nuggets are better so I, I bought the nuggets and I fed them on those for a while and as I was doing more and more research I realized that actually a really really simple way to stop selective feeding was to just not fill the bowl until they finished everything in it it was so simple and again like when I say these things out loud it sounds so obvious and so stupid to not really think about these things but I just didn't think about these things and again like small rodent care like small pet care in general not just rodents but like ferrets rabbits um uh, chinchillas whatever any any kind of small pet their care has developed so much in the last few years and there was so much more to it than I realized and now I'm really really happy we've got them I absolutely fell in love with them almost immediately they are so so sweet and you can tell they're so clever and the more they come in round to us and the more they're interacting with us the just better is getting and i wouldn't trade them for the world but knowing what i know now i would not buy them from a pet shop and i would also look at making my own rat mix which is is something that i'm researching at the moment and that i intend to do really shortly so that's all i just i really wanted to share that with you i hope you guys have enjoyed the clips of like the rats playing if i've done it right fingers crossed because i don't know yet but I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope it gave you like a little bit of an insight into me. And like I said, I, I am hoping to upload a vlog every now and again just to introduce you guys to the pets and mostly just to the pets. I'm not really going to have my kids on here a lot. Um, just, just a personal choice. But yeah, just so you guys can see. Because I've got to say, since I've started researching um, the smaller animals as well, like I've always researched dogs and things like that, I just find it all so fascinating. And I'm not a pet expert, I am a novice I guess, and I think a lot of people out there are in the same position as me, where they're doing research, they don't know as much, and I think well anything that can help people make good decisions, even if it's from learning from my bad ones, then that would be great. So, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you made it through this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in 100 Baby tomorrow. Thank you, bye!